Okay, what we're going to talk about now is we're going to talk about the levels of business and how businesses progress through different levels uh, as they grow through their stages. Businesses don't tend to grow in a straight line. What they tend to do is they tend to grow, plateau, grow, plateau, something like this. And we talk about them going through levels one, two, three, four, five. Um, and it's understanding why they keep taking these plateaus and what, how you go from one transition to the other that's really important in business. Uh, we tend to talk about these in terms of a level one business being, say, roughly 250k turnover with five full-time equivalent employees. We talk about level two being a one million turnover with, say, five, ten full-time equivalent employees. Level three is a five million pound turnover with 50 full-time equivalents. Level four is a 10 million turnover with 100 full-time equivalents. This goes on, next one is say 25 million, uh, and so on and so forth. And if we look at the businesses that we've got in SMEs, there are roughly 4.5 million SMEs in the UK. If we look at where they are distributed on this chart, only about 1.2 million actually employ anybody themselves, which leaves us with about 3.3 million of what we call one-man armies. So lots of businesses are set up there and they don't actually necessarily grow into a business, they start, as a small, uh, start and stay as a small business, which leaves us now with this 1.2 million. Of that 1.2 million, somewhere in the region of about 420,000 of those will make it up to this level here, which is the first start. If we take it to the next level, there's about 220,000 businesses make it there, there's about 36,000 businesses make it there, and about 17,000 businesses make it there. If we look at the ratios about this going from one level to the next, to go the 1.2 who do employ, you've got about a 1 in 3 chance of going from there to there. Here you've got about a 1 in 2 chance of making it up that level. This is the major one here though, this is about a 1 in 5 chance. And then down here to a 1 in 2 chance. And it's looking at why is this leap here the most difficult of all those levels to get through. So we start looking at businesses and what they're doing at different areas. So we start off right down the very bottom. When we first start a business it's all about the foundations of businesses. And in the foundations we're looking about the financial foundations and we're looking for the delivery foundations. So what do we mean by this? So financial um, foundations is all about the cash flow, it's about the profit and loss it's about the balance sheet and what's going on in business on a day-to-day -day uh, basis. We need to understand that. We need to talk also about the delivery of the business as well. So it's making sure that the delivery is consistent day in, day out. It's consistent no matter who's actually delivering that service to the customer. We get through that and then we're talking very much about the marketing. So it's how do we actually grow this business and there's three elements here. There's the true market research. What does the customer want? There's the marketing. And there's the sales. Now in this, our business owner operates very much from a mindset. And that mindset down here is very much an employee mindset or supervisor mindset. I want to just try and explain what I mean by this mindset. If we look at this differently, we take a very, very large corporation, whatever a large corporation is to us, and you generally have up here the shareholder, business owner, you'd have a managing director, and then working for the managing director, we'd have a whole load of functions. 
So in a large corporation, what functions would we have? We'd have, for example, sales, marketing, finance, operations, HR, health and safety, facilities, legal, transport, etc, etc, and the list goes on. And we'd have those in a business at director level. We'd also then have, a, just like a sales director, we'd also have each of those functions at a manager level. And also the same at the people who do it within the organisation, the doer level in an organisation. So here's my large structure of a large corporation. So how does a one-man army's business differ in structure from this? Because every one of these functions still needs to be performed. So a one-man army has the same structure. The only challenge is their name appears in every single box. They've got to do every one of these particular functions. So as a business grows and they're employing, say, 10 people, something like that, we say, well, they've got some other people doing things in the organisation, but most of them started up a business because they have a core skill in the business that they're delivering. So if we plotted how many hours a business owner would spend in his business with 10 people, you'd probably find they're still spending over 90% of their time down here in a doing role, fulfilling the function that the business does with other people helping them. They might be supervising them doing that, but they're also doing it. And actually, very little of their time is spent doing any of these other functions within a business. Indeed, we ask business owners, what's the difference between being a business owner and a managing director? We have to write a job description for each of these. Are they being and done in a business? So, they're spending lots and lots of time. And we go back to this. This is where they're running a business getting on for, say, a million turnover with 10 employees, every decision comes through. They're the sales director, they're the finance director, they're the HR director, the ops director. Everything is functioned through them. So they're sitting there with their arms around this business, trying to manage everything, and actually they become very time poor, probably doing 80 hours a week, doing all the work that God sends just to keep things going. So this challenge here is now about... How do I release my time? So to progress from here, and this is why this ratio is so high, because most people, they, they, they have a go at doing stuff, and then all of a sudden they find that what's happened is it went wrong. So I've trusted somebody to do it, and they messed it up. So what we said we would do is we said, I'm not going to do that ever again. I'm never going to get to a situation where I get into that again, so I'll keep all the decisions myself. So... Time is the biggest challenge. So how do we release the business owner's time? How do we get it from a point where they're spending less time down here and more time up here running the business and doing those sorts of functions? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to find out what they're doing and we need to systemise it. We need to get out of their head their core skills, put it down on paper and allow them to do it. We then need to leverage the time so they're getting somebody else to do it. So they've got the systems written down, somebody else can do it, releases the business owner to go and do what they should do. This is when they start getting much more into a mindset of manager. And that's really crucial in this business. Once they've released their time, Actually, now, and at each of these plateaus, we're doing something which we're calling setting out the storm. So we get to this point. What, how do we need to set the stall out so that the business can grow to the next level in here? So what do we need to put in place? We've got the time of the business owner. They now need to invest time in their team. We need to understand the vision of where the business is going. How are we going to get there? The mission and the values of the business. Values, we're talking about how do we want people to behave within our business. Once we've got
got this in place and we've got the business owner given enough time to actually make that happen, we can do even more of this and this is when the business owner becomes more time rich. They're starting now to think as a leader mindset. Makes a huge difference. Once we've got the leader mindset that's set done, we're talking about replication. Because if I have the skills to be able to make this team operate and do what I want and build a business like this, I can just replicate it and do more and more of it. And then up here we're talking about growing the business, doing multiple businesses, really turning the tap on, making more and more work. Now, why would any business owner want to go from one level to the next? It's the next challenge. So we look at this in this simple way. I've got the size of business up at the top here. Now the size, we're talking about level one, two, three, four. But we've got the structure of the business. Now structure, I'm talking about how we've got the foundations in place, the marketing, the time, the team. Are all of those things set and, and ready and uh, understood? We've got the mindset of the business owner. Are they working as an employee, a supervisor, a manager, a leader? Up here, a business owner, an entrepreneur. And the last thing we've got in here is the desire of the business owner. Now, if I have a business owner who has in their, in their head a desire to only ever be a level one business and has these, is that the size of a level one business already? They have the structure of a level one business and they're operating in the mindset of a level one business. The business is perfectly in balance, there's no need to change it. What does happen though sometimes is this gets out of balance. You might have a business owner who has a desire to be a level four business. The current size they might be operating, they might have built it up to a level three business. The structure might only be a level two business. The mindset from which they're operating might only be level one. And what's happening here is because this is out of balance, this is where the, the stress comes in a business. So what we do at Team Results is we look at this and we say, well, okay, the desire is level four. How do I first of all get all of this to level two? How do I then get it all to level three? How do I get it all to level four? And we take it through the levels as it goes. So, you know, to sum this up, if the desire or if this structure is out of balance, this is where Team Results can help and take it and get it to a balance and grow it to the desire of the business owner.